More breaking news now at 5. We're learning three people, including two children from Watauga County, were killed in a head-on crash in South Carolina. It all happened Monday afternoon on I-26 near Orangeburg. Family was heading back from a vacation at the time. NBC Charlotte's Brooke Katz live at 5 in Brook. This is such a sad story. Sarah, it is just an absolutely heartbreaking situation. The family was on their way home when a tractor trailer went across the median, slamming into their van head-on killing a father and his two young daughters. A family vacation ends in tragedy. 37-year-old Thomas Rusgrove and his two daughters, 14-year-old Esther and 11-year-old Jenny Ruth, all killed when a tractor trailer hit their vehicle in a head-on crash Monday afternoon. As a trooper, the worst part of our job is responding to these crashes and then leaving this and going to notify family that their loved one's been lost. South Carolina Highway Patrol says the semi was heading eastbound along I-26 in Orangeburg when it crossed the center median slamming into the family's van. According to a GoFundMe page set up for the family, two other people in that van, a mother and son, survived. They're reportedly in the hospital in stable condition. The family on their way home to Watauga County after a vacation in Florida. The interstate was shut down for hours as troopers investigated. We've learned the driver of the semi was Kevin Thomas of Mount Airy, Georgia. He was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. While it's not clear what caused the truck to cross the median, troopers have this message for all drivers. Throughout the summer months, we don't want to see any more fatalities, so it goes back to operators to do the right thing. Slow down, reduce your speed, wear your seatbelt. We did get an update from family members this afternoon. We're told Ethan, the son, is now out of the ICU but does have a long road to recovery. Leslie, the mom, is still in ICU and working to recover, but we're told she is stable. The family released a statement talking about how they're clinging to their faith during this time, saying in part, quote, the entire family loves the Lord with their whole heart, and he is our strength and comfort during this very difficult time. That accident, of course, remains under investigation by Highway patrol no word on any potential charges here reporting live in West Charlotte Brooke Katz NBC Charlotte such a tragedy Brooke thank you